Welcome to another broadcast with Gian. You will listen to a short reflection that will inspire you, challenge you, and enlighten you. Now our host, Gian. When I was a little boy in Guatemala, I lived the experience of an earthquake. It was a horrendous experience. I was probably 10 years old or so, and that earthquake brought near 30,000 people dead in Guatemala, in the whole country. It was horrible. Now we see another situation horrible situation with an earthquake and this time have happened in Turkey. To you, my dear friend in Turkey, and I'm not saying this rhetorically because I have good friends in Turkey, specialists that work with me in different aspects of technology. I want to tell you that I am really sorry to hear the bad news about your earthquake and I understand, I understand, it's painful. But I want to tell you what happened in Guatemala that I believe it was a great thing. First of all, the president in those years, he was a general. He was not necessarily someone that people love, you know. <laughs> Let's face it, in Guatemala, <laughs> the political corruption is known for ever. <laughs> Still today, everybody knows that, like in most third world countries, right? If you don't believe that, just check the news, what's going on in Mexico now with the leaders. Embarrassing. All right. So this general in Guatemala in the 70s, you know, although people didn't care much for him, it, 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 it was very interesting what he did because he got a little bit of conscience on this. And my father, who was uh, the leader of all, all the journalists in Guatemala back in those days, he was the president of APG. And I am showing here the picture of him. Some of those pictures are pretty interesting historical pictures of my dad. You know, it's so interesting that this president, this general, created a team and they call it something like a restoration team. I don't remember the name, but the point is it was a group of people that came together and they were part military, part government officials, part private sector, uh, from universities, from churches, from all sectors of society. And I can tell you that we felt that there was unity for the first time in a long time. There was unity in the country. It didn't last much, <laughs> sadly, but that was the key to fix the country. And there were many missions. People from different countries came to, to help. Humanitarian help came from many countries. That was wonderful. So for you, now for everyone in Turkey, I recommend you to consider that, to try to join efforts because, you know, the, the solution never comes just from one person. Even if you are a great person with great goals in life, you need to learn to work with people. And in the midst of circumstances like those, you have to find a team. And uh, perhaps there are individuals that are, that are already organized and they are just trying to bring volunteers to that team, work with them. Because honestly, it doesn't matter who is the one who leads that group. It's, it's about the country, it's about the people. It's about God moving through you. Now, speaking to Americans, I will encourage you, my dear American, to consider sending help, financial help, 
to any organization that you can figure out, they bring help to Turkey. So I'm going to ask Sebastian, my son, which is my IT manager, to do some researches and uh, perhaps that will help you guys to, if you want to help financially to, to the Turkey people, people in Turkey. And here on the screen, this is what they, they found. So Jeho and Sebastian try to work together on this because it's important that we try to help somehow. My friends in Turkey that uh, work with us, they have received now contracts from us. A, a little help helps all the time. And uh, just remember one thing, is that one way or other, we all get in trouble. It's, it's like we take turns <laughs> in getting in trouble. Honestly, it's sad that it's like that. We just get in turn. Now is the turn of these people. Now is the turn of this person. Now is the turn. And eventually it's your turn. When you are planting good seeds, my friend, when you are helping those that are in trouble, when they are in their turn of being in trouble, there are great possibilities that the day tomorrow, whenever it comes to you, your great day, your sad day, your dark day, someone is going to come to rescue you. So keep that in mind. Blessings to the people in Turkey. I wish the best for each one of you. Victory Radio is now available 24-7. Visit our website, www.victoryradio.us. Great music, positive messages, optimism to keep you company while you work, or when you drive, or when you are at home cooking. Faith is what you need. Faith comes when you hear the right thing. Victory Radio is the new thing. Find us on the website, www.victoryradio.us. Have a great rest of your day. If you own a Roku TV, a Roku TV device, an Apple TV device, or own a Fire Stick, we invite you to install the Geon TV app. With the Geon TV app installed on your TV, you will be able to watch all the videos from the comfort of your home and be inspired with our programs. Enjoy music, inspirational videos, Bible teachings, and beautiful videos that will keep your tank of faith full all the time at the touch of a button. Remember G on TV. Receive the inspiration to achieve your calling in life. By G and Carlo Vicitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Welcome to this website, MyNewMentor.com. Here you will find the tools to establish a direct communication with your new mentor, Gian. Get the available spot on Gian's schedule and set your appointment to have an audio or video call via Skype with Gian. Do you like new movies, new books, new music? Go to MyGianCarlo.com. There is a new album, Adore, 10 songs. I wrote the songs and I sing those songs with a wonderful band of musicians and singers. If you sign up in mygiancarlo.com, I will give you one song for free. Take advantage of this free song and enjoy this wonderful production. 
blessings of God are going to come to you when you are listening to the right thing, God's Word. You can find us in all of these platforms. Search for Gian TV on Apple TV, Roku TV, and Fire TV. Do you prefer a podcast? Find us too. And remember Victory Radio 24-7. The kingdom of God is near. We hope that you are inspired to get closer to God. Feel free to subscribe to our channel here on this platform. Also, you can go to our website, mygiancarlo.com, to connect with the rest of the platforms where you can follow us. You can write to Gian at 2400 West 81st Street, Odessa, Texas, 79764, or come here to listen to him personally on Sundays at 10 a.m. Our phone number is 432-614-9798. Our email address is info at mygiancarlo.com. Until next time, we wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Many blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus.